everybody, welcome back to Gun Deals. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, review this Palmetto State Armory AK-103 with you. Um, so what we'll do is I'll go ahead and review the outside of the gun. Um, we'll put it down, we'll do go over the trigger, I'll open it up and show you the internals and give you my overall thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right, so it comes with this black polymer furniture and the end, we have a metal end piece right here. On the other side, we have a sling attachment right here. Uh, moving up, if you wish to ch change the furniture out on your AK, it's very, very simple to do. Um, there's a little screw right here that you would take out and you slide the, the buttstock off and then you can put any other one you wish on. <clears throat> uh, moving forward, we have the dust cover right here and then we have the receipt, the stamped receiver right here. The receiver is, an, is excellently machined. All the rivets look phenomenal. Um, yeah, beautiful looking receiver. And then moving up, we have a, a extended safety. And so what that is, this part right here, the latch has been extended out and it's texturized. So it's easy to manipulate uh, with your index finger. And um, so that's a nice, that's a nice touch right there. Uh, moving down, we have a, a polymer grip right here, it has some aggressive texturing on either side of the grip. And then moving forward, we have obviously the trigger, the trigger guard and the paddle release for your magazine. I really love paddle release, uh, mag releases. They're very cool, very quick. Uh, I do like that a lot. On the other side, we have a, a side mount here. So you can put on a, uh, like a side mount rail. So basically it would attach to here. It would come up just over your dust cover and sit on top, you'd have a 1913 Picatinny rail. So you could attach any kind of red dot or whatever you wished on top there. Um, so obviously another good feature to have. Okay, moving along, obviously we have the charging handle which is attached to the uh, to the carrier. The carrier, the bolt and the front trunnion are all hammer forged parts. So uh, being hammer forged parts, you're getting some, uh, you're getting uh, excellent quality, long lasting, durable parts, which is what you want. This AK will last you a long time. Um, and even if it doesn't, which it will, but if it doesn't, it does have 100% lifetime warranty from Palmetto State Armory. Okay, moving up, uh, we have the rear sight. This is designed so you can take it out to 800 yards. With my old eyes, I can tell you I am not hitting anything at 800 yards with iron sights, um, but that's just me. Maybe you're a lot younger than me and better eyes, but it's still really nice to have these uh, on there. Uh, moving forward, this is our gas tube. Um, and on the other side here, we have the other uh, mounting option for your sling. Moving forward, we go up to the front post right here, and then we have the traditional uh, brake on the front here also. Uh, this part right here, this is kind of nice. PSA wasn't sending um, their AKs with cleaning rods for a while, but with the GF5s, they do have a cleaning rod on here. It's just a nice touch. It's something you don't have to go and purchase um, after you already buy the gun. And then we come to the barrel. The barrel is actually one of the major features on here, along with some obviously other cool factors, but the barrel is an FN barrel. It's cold hammer forged, it's chrome lined, and it's a one and nine and a half twist. It's an excellent, excellent barrel. Uh, I love FN barrels. Um, they are good to go. So it's really nice to see that they're on the 103. You'll be very happy with it, I am sure. Um, okay, so. That is pretty much the outside of the firearm. What I'll do is I'll change the camera angle uh, so we can do a close up on some of the features, go over the trigger. And then as I said, I'll open it up and I'll show you the internals of the gun also. All right, so let me do that right now. All right, so here we are. So you can get a bit more of a close up view um, of here of the features and stuff. And as you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful firearm, uh, really nice, nicely done. So since we're here, the first thing we'll do is we'll probably just go over the trigger so what I'll do is um, I will uh, do the trigger pull, see how it feels. Uh, we'll do the reset, give you my thoughts on it. And, and then we'll put it on the digital trigger scale to see how much the trigger weighs. So let's do this first. Okay, so we got some take up. It's kind of gritty. It is single stage trigger. That's quite a long take up. And then the brake's really nice. Nice clean audible break and tactile. And let's see the let out. Yeah, just gritty. It's kind of long, the reset, it's definitely positive. Um, it's not a bad trigger. Um, my recommendation though, if you are, if you have an AK uh, that does uh, not have an, 
ALG AK trigger. I highly recommend putting one in. They're pretty cheap. They're under, I think they're under hundred dollars. They're pretty simple to change out and it'll be a night and day difference uh, quality wise from the trigger. But this trigger works just fine. There is no need to change it out. But if you do want a nicer trigger, that would be my recommendation. All right, so let's do the trigger pull. We're gonna use the Wheeler Digital Skill here. Now the trigger is pretty curved. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, three pounds and that's not it's just over three pounds let's try that again let's see if we get in the same spot 2.8 pounds almost too shy of 2.9 pounds okay let's do this one more time 2.92 pounds. So you're talking about a three pound, just under three pound trigger. As I say, it is a very light trigger. Um, it's not bad at all, other than, um, as I say, it does have a bit of a, uh, a long take up and a long reset, but it's not a bad trigger. There is better, but it's not bad. All right, so now again, if you're new to AKs, uh, the way that we'll take this down, there's this button at the back here. You're gonna push this in so it goes past um, the dust cover so and then you should be able to just simply lift it up so make sure it goes all the way in and just simply lift up now once we're here this is your guide rod and spring you're just going to push this forward and it lifts out and you're going to, have to put your hammer down to take out the carrier so make sure your hammer is down and then you simply pull back on the carrier and it will to the back and then it will slide out and then there's your, your bolt is here. So as I said, these are all ha horm, um, hammer forged parts, excellent quality parts. It is stamped 762, and this is your front trunnion. Now to take the gas block off, it's really simple. You're gonna lift this tab up on the side, and then hopefully you can get a good angle of this. Now if you, you want to get it level, there's a lip here, if you go too far, it'll start to show, but you want that level so you just hit it and you can't quite see it right there. If you have it in the wrong spot, you won't be able to take off the gas block and it should be pretty easy to take this off if it's in the right spot. So I believe we're in the right spot and so we'll just lift up on the, I went too far there I think, there we go. There in the gas block, you need a little extra love on the pool. Um, so this is your gas block, that there. And there we go. That's as far as I'm going to take this down for you guys, but um, actually what we'll do is we'll show you how to take off the brake while we're here. In front of this post, there's a little detent spring part right here, and you're just going to push that in, and then you're just going to turn the brake like so. Once you get it past that detent, you can let go and then just take this off and then you can change it to any part you want. And then you will just do the reverse, obviously put it back on. Now, when you're screwing this back on, you're gonna hit the, the detent like so, and obviously we're not fully on yet. So you're just gonna push that detent back in and you're gonna turn this as far as it can go. So if you go as far as you can go, it's not gonna lock, right? The, the groove is back like down here. So you're just gonna turn this back a little bit and then you heard that click in place right there. So that is back on, and that's how easy to change that out. Uh, very, very simple. I love that feature on AKs. Okay, to reassemble, we're just gonna go in reverse. You need to take your gas tube. You're gonna put the front piece on first, and you're gonna have to make sure that this back piece is at the same position if, if I'm taking it off. And I think we, I am off on this right now, so let's take that back out. Okay, that's us there. Okay, there we go, slid back in. Push that back down, it locks the gas block back in place. All right, so then we're gonna put the bolt and carrier back in. So you slide that in. Now you're gonna make sure that um, it's this back part, there's a piece here that goes in a slot on either side. So you make sure that's lined up and push that down and push your bolt forward just like so, very simple. You're gonna take your carrier grip, uh, excuse me, your um, guide rod and spring and put in that top hole. And as I mentioned before, you're gonna push this forward until you get the two lips in front of the tabs and just push it back in and that's it locked in place. Then you're gonna take your dust cover, put it on top and you're gonna push it forward and you're gonna make sure that the button is in the hole right there. 
and there the lip of the dust cover is going to go into a groove and so you're going to push this forward keeping that button there and then making sure that this cover makes it into the groove once it's there just give it a little little dink and then the button will I'll push back out just like that. And that's your reassembled. And then I would recommend doing a function check. Safe works. Fireworks. And we are back together. All right, so obviously we're back together here like so. Um, let's talk about shooting. Shooting it was an absolute pleasure. Very nice shooting rifle. Um, I had zero problems with it. Um, now, obviously, I'm not shooting as much ammo through um, the guns as I would like to what with the ammo crunch and availability or the lack of availability uh, going on right now. But from what I did shoot it, uh, it ran flawlessly and it was just a ton of fun. Um, I really liked it. Um, these are these do come with a lifetime warranty from Palmetto State Armory. Um, and, you know, do I recommend them? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I think that... At the time of posting this, these are about $1,000, uh, and I think for the current market, it's a fantastic value. You're getting a very nice FN cold hammer forged barrel. You're getting all the hammer forged parts. Um, it's, it's a quality firearm for sure, and I think you'd be happy with uh, your purchase. Um, some things I would change about it, not a lot. Maybe the trigger, I would put in an ALG trigger. Do you have to? No, absolutely not. It will function just fine without it. Um, but if you like a nicer trigger, then I would upgrade. But other than that, I think it's great. Um, very happy with it. So there you go, the uh, PSA AK-103. And uh, that's all I have for you. And uh, if you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. And until next time, we'll catch you later.